Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I have some awesome news to share with you guys on the status of the iOS 6, 6.0.1, 6.0.2, and 6.1 untethered jailbreak status. Now, if you guys haven't seen my last update video on the status of the iOS 6 jailbreak, just be sure to check it out first and then come back because this video does build on that one to an extent. So if you're on the desktop version of YouTube, just be sure to click the annotation that should be on the screen right now, or you can also click the link that's down below in the more info. And once you've watched that, you can come back to this video and you should understand things a little bit better. However, even if you don't watch it, I'm going to break it down and go into depth on the news for today. All right, now let me load up my site really quick in Safari. So I'm sure as many of you know, the latest in the status of the iOS 6 jailbreak before today came when POSIX Ninja announced his solo efforts to complete a boot ROM jailbreak for A5, A5X, A6, and A6X powered devices. So this is kind of what I was talking about as far as watching my previous jailbreak update video first, because in that video I go into depth on all of the current iOS devices that can be on either iOS 6 or later and I also explain the difference between them and the processors that power them and which ones aren't jailbreakable so in this video I'm just going to assume that you guys know all of this already all right now switching back more recently yesterday in fact planet being an iOS security expert and hacker that's been instrumental in the development of numerous jailbreak solutions responded to something with a comment on reddit but before I get too into depth I kind of have to preface with another article article. All right, so the other day, Pod2G took to Twitter and he started talking about the We Want an Open iOS petition, which essentially is just a petition that they're going to send to Apple once they get enough signatures. And it just states that we want Apple to open up their SDK to allow modifications to the springboard and operating system in general. Now, because of this, numerous pessimistic members of the jailbreak community were saying that Apple is one if Pod2G is saying this and that iOS 6 will be the death of jailbreaking. Now, that's far from the truth and their claims are definitely exaggerated. And as I was stating earlier, Planet Being's comment on Reddit definitely proves that and it backs it up. On Reddit, he essentially said that he doesn't understand what all the doom and gloom is about because he actually has an untethered iOS 6.0.2 jailbreak running on his iPhone 5 right now. Now just as kind of a refresh, iOS 5.0.2 is an update that's exclusive to both the iPhone 5 and the iPad mini. Now this update was only issued by Apple to address an unnamed Wi-Fi bug that could impact connectivity, and it was most likely issued to ensure that all users will be able to upgrade to 6.1 via Apple's over-the-air update feature once it's officially released. Now, Planet Beings basically just reiterated what I've been saying in my videos and on Best Tech Info for months now, that they're holding off on releasing a jailbreak right now to save the exploits, and that they'll most likely release it once iOS 6.1 has been released to the public. Now, we also said that iOS 6.1 will likely break a small part of the jailbreak anyway, so it won't be released directly after 6.1, but we do know that an iOS 6 jailbreak is coming and it will support 6.1, and this will also include all iOS-based devices that can upgrade to iOS 6.1. I know I've received a lot of questions from my followers and viewers asking, well, what about the status for all the other jailbreaks? Since, again, he's only really talking about the iPhone 5 or they've only talked about a select number of devices in the past, well, they will not really release a jailbreak until they have compatibility for, again, all iOS-based devices. And also, someone asked me what's the difference between what Planet Being is running and what POSIX Ninja is working on. Well, I can answer that very easily. So POSIX Ninja is working on what's known as a boot ROM jailbreak or a hardware-based exploit, which can only be patched by Apple if they release new hardware. So essentially, it's a permanent tethered jailbreak. Right now, the jailbreak for 6.0.1 that supports the iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, as well as the fourth generation iPod Touch is a boot ROM jailbreak that utilizes is Geohot's Lime Rain exploit. And in the past, when untethered jailbreaks have been released, they've basically just built upon the boot ROM jailbreak. So these two jailbreaks should, in theory, work together, and a boot ROM jailbreak is still crucial. And finally, to wrap up the jailbreak news, when Pod2G was actually discussing the We Want an Open iOS petition, he also stated that the jailbreak is currently being developed underground. So they're not releasing details on the jailbreak on purpose. They're keeping the public in the dark right now, but that doesn't mean that they're not 
not developing the jailbreak, quite the opposite actually. They're diligently working on a solution for iOS 6 for all iOS based devices from something like the older A4 powered fourth generation iPod Touch to the iPhone 5 to even the fourth generation iPad. All right, now I hope you guys liked this video. I will link you guys to a lot of great information down below in the more info. Like I said, I'll also link you to some of my past jailbreak update videos because they also contain some great details. Now don't forget, this is going to be one of your last chances to enter to win a brand new fourth generation iPad in the giveaway that I'm holding in collaboration with the members of iPod Uplink and Jailbreak Nation. So to enter, just be sure to rate this video or any of my new videos up and leave a comment down below in the comment section. You don't have to include a certain keyword, just any comment will do as long as it's a relevant comment. Once it's posted, you'll be automatically entered to win. All right, now that's it for now. Don't forget, I will keep you guys completely updated on the status of the iOS 6 and up untethered jailbreak. So just be sure to stay tuned. Also, don't forget to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and add me in one of your circles inside of Google Plus to be updated more often. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.